Hi, welcome to Harmony with Sulin. In this tutorial, we will rig an eyelid and add deformers, which can be animated for changes in expressions. This follows on from my tutorial on invert cutting and drawing substitutions. If you haven't watched this, I'll place a link in the video description below. With just one drawing, we can manipulate the deformers to create many eye shapes, maybe an angrier eye. So let's start. The assets you'll need is a top eyelid. We do that by creating a line which can be the colour of the line that you've used for your face design. I've used a lower value of the flesh tone. You'll need to create a mask for the eyelid. Use a colour that isn't within the face design. I've chosen a green that will be the mask colour. It's really important to make separate colours for each piece and name them correctly. You can see I've got a mask which is green and for the line of the top eyelid, I've used a dark pink. Once you've made the drawing, you can add a peg and add the rotation point. To separate the mask and the top eyelid, we will use the color selector node and the process of invert cutting. Hit enter or return key and put in the first two letters of the node we need, and it'll come up with a selection. The one we want is called color selector. With our color selector attached from under the drawing of the eyelid, we open up the properties, hit the plus sign, go to the name of our piece, and we'll see two colors that the piece contains. We want the mask color. For me, it's a green color. Once we have that, we can also rename the node. We want to cut the whole of the eye with the eyelid. We've added a front eye composite that connects all the pieces for the front eye. We add a cutter under this. We can take a connector from underneath the color selector node named mask, attach it to the matte port of the cutter and disconnect the original connector. We can test it by selecting the peg and the free transform tool. And we see the eyelid cutting the whole eye, which could be stages of a blink. What we can also see is the limitations of the mask area. Because the mask is made to a certain size, it may not cover the whole eye. But we can fix that by adding a deformer. Before we do that, let's take a look at the line. The line has disappeared so we need another color selector. Attach it using a connector from under the top eyelid, open up the properties, hit the plus sign, find the name of your piece, the top eyelid, and this time choose the color of the line for the eyelid. Connect that to the composite, add a cutter, cut the line of the eyelid with the eye and invert. The mask limitation is going to be now resolved with a deformer. I'll add a deformer by selecting the eyelid drawing. Select the deformer tool. This looks like a hammer and wrench. You'll need advanced animation on. Let's go to the tool properties and select the envelope deformer. We can add to the deformer when we see it activated. It's a click and drag action. Try to create as few points as possible. To close the envelope, hold down option and click and drag on the offset. While in the edit mode, red, you can adjust the position of the points. Adjust the bezier handles so they're tidy. It doesn't have to be completely flush to the shape of the drawing. When you're happy with it, you can select the transform tool to stop edit mode. Test it out to see if it's working for you. When you select the deformer, you can reset it by going to the reset tool here. Once you're happy with it and you don't need the mask visible, you can disconnect it from the comp. There we have it. We have the top eyelid that cuts the whole of the eye. We've added a deformer to hide any shortfalls and can be used to create a change of expression. Another way to add an envelope deformer is to select the drawing, go to animation, envelope creator, create envelope. You can choose how many deformation points and create envelope. You might need to adjust the points. We can also add an under eyelid. I have one that I made earlier. The under eyelid is made up of essentially the same elements as the top eyelid. So you can duplicate and flip it. Change the color to the flesh tone. With the under eyelid selected, let's add a peg and position the rotation point. This is a lot simpler. Select the under eyelid drawing and add a cutter. We take a connector from the eye drawing node Connect it to the matte port of the cutter, which is attached under the under eyelid. Invert it, and there we have the under eyelid. We can test that out. Depending on the expression you want, or to create a blink, you can use a combination of both the top eyelid and the under eyelid. 
You can also cut that in two different ways. The first option I've shown you is to take the connector from the front eye. The second option is to take the connector from the color art, and it looks like an eye bag. I quite like this style. That's it for rigging an eyelid with deformers. Look out for my next tutorial where I'll show you how to clone the eye. See you next time.